More than a month into our national state of emergency from the coronavirus, but for many Americans stranded overseas since the global pandemic spread, the journey to get home has been never ending as nations locked down and travel was restricted before they could make their way back to the U.S. Gio Benitez has the story of several Americans who have now made it home and those still stranded. Tonight, months into the worldwide pandemic, thousands of Americans are still stranded abroad, stuck in countries with closed borders or on the cruise ships where they worked, even in some cases after the paychecks stopped flowing. The State Department issuing pleas like this to stranded Americans. They need to decide now. We are not going to continue running these, these uh, chartered uh, flights indefinitely. Nearly 65,000 Americans already repatriated. Piedad Barrias Bird, who goes by the name Pi, is an American citizen who was stuck in Guatemala for two months trying to get home. She was there for her sister's wedding. When someone says you can't go home, it does something to you. Pi spoke to us from a hotel room in Los Angeles after United Airlines helped her get on a plane. No one else is gonna fly us out. She and her family live in New Zealand, and her husband is not a U.S. citizen, which made it especially tough for Pi to get a U.S. airline involved. I still can't believe. <sighs> it was virtually impossible to leave Guatemala as a non-USA citizen um, for my family. And I just, I'm like, no, I'm not going to be forgotten. We're not going to be forgotten. You got a little emotional there. And, and why is that? Is it still something you feel so deeply? When you're a mom, things change. And you want to protect your family. And you feel most protected when you're at home. You're safer at home. That's the whole point right now, to not spread this. And we weren't. Um, to be denied passage the first time was traumatic. A desperate email to United became her golden ticket home when the company told her about a new repatriation flight. Then there are the tens of thousands of workers still aboard 124 cruise ships in U.S. waters. As an American citizen, I should have the freedom to go home and spend this quarantine in my own home. Matthew Gordon was one of the Americans stuck on Holland America's Volendam, a performer on the ship. <laughs> Matthew telling us life aboard the Volendam is eerie. This is the casino, empty and barren. The theater is no different. Our ship has, has been at sea without any contact from the outside world, really, um, with no guests since March 20th. You really just want to get off this ship. I've talked to a few people on Facebook, and a lot of people seem to think that we're on vacation. Um, this is not a fun you know, frivolous thing. Just days after this interview, Matthew was able to get off the ship because of a medical condition and is now home in Georgia. But he says other Americans are still on board. Over at Celebrity Cruises, crew members have filed a lawsuit against the company on behalf of more than a thousand employees, alleging careless and continuous failure to protect its crew members. Julia Malim just got off the Celebrity Infinity and is now in quarantine in Georgia. A fellow crew member died on that ship earlier this month. It just really feels like being in a prison. Celebrity telling us it doesn't comment on pending litigation. And now, with the president's tweet that all immigration into the U.S. will be halted, new concerns for people like Arun from India. He's a permanent U.S. resident, but not a citizen, and traveled from New Jersey to India for his father's funeral in March. Now he's stuck as U.S. citizens are prioritized. It's a difficult time because everything is locked down here. An Amazon employee, he says the company is extending his leave through May 3rd, but still he's worried. It may affect my job. Just one of thousands trying to make that long journey home. Gio Benitez for ABC News Live in New York.